So new Axios report uh, detailing something that's kind of key to me, at least, in terms of the RFK Jr. campaign. Let's put this up on the screen. So apparently his campaign merch is not union made, nor is it U.S. made. Um, let me read you a little bit of this. They say that his team is bucking Democratic Party tradition by selling campaign merchandise and not made in America, not made by union leader. Uh, union labor. They also say the move is out of step with Kennedy's stated commitment to labor unions and along with his anti-vaccination views could complicate his long shot primary challenge of President Biden for generations. A rule for Democratic campaigns has been that as many materials as possible, shirts, stickers, placards, lawn signs, even campaign buses be made by union shops in America as a sign of the party's commitment to labor unions and the working class. Um, it appears that the t-shirts are have a label that says assembled in Honduras. So this is kind of common on the Republican side. They don't typically use union shops. Mm -hmm. They don't particularly pay attention, even with the Trump campaign that talked a lot about Made in America, even their stuff was made overseas. But for a Democrat, this is really a no-go. And even putting like the convention of it aside, you know, we have merch. We yeah. went out of our way to make sure that it was consistent with our values of being Made in America and being union made, that can be difficult. Although in the campaign space, there are all kinds of vendors mm -hmm. who do this work. So it just shows me like, if you're really committed to unions, number one, you need to have a plan about that, which we asked him about and he didn't have a lot to say about. But number two, like this is a basic gimme. He's got to prompt his staff in order to fix this. Uh, my I, my theory most likely is that they were somebody inexperienced or whatever. And they yeah. said, just set up merch and they didn't you know think uh, all that much about it. But yeah, as you said, if you care, which we cared a lot, you know, and I think people should know, it's a pain in the ass. Uh, and I'm, this is not a knock. I'm not saying you still shouldn't do it, but it's cheaper and easier for a reason to make stuff in China. We could make tons more money off of our merchandise if we were willing to do that. And it would be vastly cheaper, easier shipping and all of that to you. But because we believe in Made in America and a union made, well, we have had to go in a different direction. And that's what a lot of different Democratic candidates have done before. I've seen some Republican candidates do it as well. And I think that's the right thing to do. You know, just because economy of scale is easier to get something made in China or Honduras or whatever, that doesn't mean that's what you should do. So again, my theory on this is just that they were like, go with the easiest option and yeah. to spin up. But this is an opportunity where do the work, man. Like if you think that you, if you do care, then you should change it. Yeah, really I should. mean, come on, dude, you're yeah. Kennedy. Yeah, You've been exactly. enmeshed in yeah, Democratic sure. politics your entire life. Your campaign manager is Dennis Kucinich. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's, uh, that's who, a good you know, point. Yeah, that's a good point. Has to know yeah. about these things yeah. as well. And, you know, we like had to put in a lot of effort to get our stuff made union because, you know, unions have been decimated and there just aren't that many um, shops that are union and American made at this point. But in the campaign world, there's a whole slew of them. Mm -hmm. You know, on the Democratic side, there's tons of them. It's not hard, you know, it's not hard to find. It's not hard to figure out. I guess the next test will be, how do they respond to this? Do they care? Do they fix it? Do they address it? Do they apologize? Like, where do they go from here? Because he has tried to make a point of saying, you know, he stands with labor, even though, again, on the substance, there hasn't been a plan laid out of how he would increase union participation. Just to give you one more sense of, you know, how this is significant, how this plays within the Democratic Party, they asked Ray Buckley, who's the chair of the Democratic Party in New Hampshire. And New Hampshire, key, obviously, because the whole rift with Biden is not going to be on the ballot there, but it's still going to be an early state. RFK Jr. has an actual chance to win that state, so this is really key. So the chair of the Democratic Party in New Hampshire says, it's politics 101. I would hope that Kennedy would put human rights above his political aspirations. That's the nicest way I can say that. So we'll see how they respond and if they make this right. Yeah, I'm curious uh, what, what his response should be, because, I mean, I, there's, there's no... You can't justify this. It's like, just you can't be making goal. stuff in, yeah. in the Honduras, <laughs> especially whatever you're talking about made in America. I mean, we asked him also about unions. Um, he didn't have some specifics on the plan, if I recall, mm -hmm. uh, or on the PRO Act, but he did say he was very supportive of the union way of life. Obviously, his own father had a complicated history, I guess is the nicest way of saying it, mm -hmm. uh, whatever it came Hoffa, to unions. Some but storied battles. JFK was a very pro-union president. So, yeah. you know, in terms of uh, carrying on the Kennedy legacy, and then Ted Kennedy, of course, was a longtime friend of the unions um, in the actual U.S. Senate. So I think, you know, given what you said uh, for Kennedy's electoral policies, this this is one of those that you absolutely should yeah. know about. Yeah, you got to walk the walk. Right, you have We to. already yeah. got a president and we do. who claims it's hard. to be yeah. pro-union yeah. and is mixed on the topic, Fair let's point. just say. So anyway, we'll see where it goes from here. All right, we'll see you guys later.
Hey guys, if you like that video, go to breakingpoints.com, become a premium subscriber and help us build the best independent media organization on the planet. That's right, we're subscriber funded, we're building something new, we wanna replace these failing mainstream media organizations. So again, to subscribe, it's breakingpoints.com.